what's up, you beautiful animals? I know why you're here. Yeah, you're here for the good stuff, the pristine stuff, the one and only. Yeah, the Roblox community heard your cry for more. So today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show you the top 10 best war games on Roblox that you've gotta be playing this coming year of 2022. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Number one, Entrenched. Man, what a good game. Entrenched is a war game that's loosely based on World War I, where the Entente and Central Powers face off in some old-school trench warfare. This is honestly the first World War I game that I've played and actually liked. World War I and specifically trench warfare games have always been hard to make on Roblox, as trench gameplay mechanics have always been super hard to make fun. But Entrenched found a way, and it's insanely fun. How the game works is that there are capture points all along the map that both teams are trying to capture and or defend. Whoever captures more of the enemy's points wins the game. There are also phases every five minutes, those phases being attack phase and defend phase. During the defend phase, you and your team will be digging trenches to defend the position from the enemy. During the attack phase, you and your team will rally up and make a massive charge across no man's land and into the enemy's trench network. Entrenched has all kinds of different classes to choose from, and what's awesome is there is no pay to win features in the game. Any class you want to play as can be unlocked without spending any money and each class is also insanely balanced with all the other classes. So really the only thing that wins the game for you and your team is pure skill, which is exactly how it should be. Some of those classes are Rifleman, Skirmisher, Medic, Assault, Officer, and even a class with a freaking flamethrower. Entrenched is also playable on all platforms, so no worries to you mobile or console players as this game is totally open to you. If you're looking for a sweet new war game to try out with a group of friends, definitely try out Entrench. Number two, Bleeding Blades. If you like swords and spears and have a thing for guys who kick Persians down endless pits, then this game is definitely for you. Bleeding Blades is a war game that is inspired by Mountain Blade, but is set during the ancient era, where you will be able to fight as many nations, including Sparta, Persia, Macedonia, and even Rome. What's really cool is there is one map in Bleeding Blades that is a siege map, and you, the player, get to push the siege equipment up to the enemy's fort and use it to break in. From siege towers to battering rams, no fort is safe from you and your friends as you can storm into the fort and absolutely wreck everyone inside. Bleeding Blades is an insanely fun game, and seeing how the game is only in alpha, there appears to be plenty more to come. So go check it out. Number three, Hedgerows 2. Holy crap, guys, this game is incredible. So, Hedgerows 2 is a game set during World War II where the Allies and the Axis fight against each other to take control over several different points across the map. As you can probably tell, the game has unbelievable graphics that looks absolutely stunning. But graphics aside, the gameplay mechanics of this game are sweet. Not only does the game add some realistic screen and motion effects, but also has insanely detailed guns which work like a charm. And my favorite are the Jeeps. They legit have realistic suspension and everything. You can definitely tell the makers of this game are really paying attention to even the smallest of details. What I really like is how the game is more than just your typical shooter game, as it has tanks, parachuters, and even artillery strikes. The game also has a squad system where you and your friends can spawn on each other and help each other stay alive and absolutely destroy the enemy. One thing I should mention though is as of the making of this video, Hedgerows 2 is still in a closed state for development but they do open the game every once in a while for testing purposes. Although this game isn't permanently open yet, you definitely want to keep your eyes open for this game. Number four, Ballista. Now here's some good old medieval combat. After what seemed like a drought of good medieval war games, Ballista has popped out of nowhere with an insanely fun game where you and your allies charge into each other in large chaotic battles that are insanely fast paced. The objective of the game is to work together with your allies to push the enemy back as you capture their small encampments. Each team will have two encampments at the beginning of the game and will fight for the first camp in no man's land. You will win the game by either pushing the enemy all the way back to their fortress or by forcing them to run out of lives and then killing them all. In Ballista, there are three classes that you can choose from, Archer, Swordsman, and Men at Arms. Each class also have subclasses with different abilities and power-ups depending on which weapon they're using, which can give them an advantage over the enemy. Archers can roll and set bear traps, Swordsmen can parry attacks and do more damage and charge spin attacks and men at arms can shield bash people right in the freaking face. Ballista also works great for mobile players with its easy controls and they even added gyroscoping for aiming for archers, which is sick. 
The game also has a decent sized store where you can buy different kinds of armor, shields, and weapons for your character to use, which is also super cool. I can't wait to see what else becomes of this game as it progresses through its alpha phase. If you want to try an epic medieval game, definitely try this out. Number five, campaigns. Now this is what I call a war game. Campaigns is more of a massive war clan event than your typical game, but I'd still say it deserves a spot on this list. Campaigns is a Napoleonic battle map server where massive lines of players can face off against each other on a massive scale, with battles reaching as high as 4,000 players. Basically how it works is players fight on a huge map that is split into smaller battle flanks. Each flank is a different server that holds up to 400 players each, which allows for a flank battle of 200 players versus 200 players. The servers are connected and infantry units can switch from one flank to another depending on where reinforcements are needed. Now let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. How how the game works is there is a certain amount of pickets given to both teams across all flanks. Every time a player is killed, their team loses anywhere from 1 to 5 tickets depending on if the player was next to other players. This requires players to stay together and stay in line formations. Now every line unit carries a company flag. The flag is an important part of each line unit because every time a player dies, they spawn on their line's flag. Whenever an enemy's company flag is captured, the line's team loses 100 points and also respawns all the way back where they originally spawned. Campaigns is also about to release a huge update to include giant siege maps and a load of other line battle maps, as well as a complete makeover of their entire combat system, and it's insanely smooth. If you haven't already, definitely get involved in this community. Number six, Deadline. If you're more interested in immersion and realism, Deadline is a perfect fit. The game feels like the perfect mashup between a military simulator and your standard shooter. With the game's extensive loadout system, complete with guns and various attachments, Deadline gives you the complete ability to customize exactly what you want from your firearms. This allows you to give yourself an edge over your enemies on the game's extensive map. Along with that, the map is perfect for this game with many spots to ambush and sneak around your enemies. Along with that, the game carries on the fighting into the night, in which teams can use night vision, adding a coolness factor as you fight your enemies in pitch black darkness. Combined with ever-changing situation, there is no shortage of fun with Deadline. Number seven, Tank Warfare. Holy cow! You guys, this game is probably one of the best looking on this list just by graphics alone. Like it's up there with Hedros and everything. Tank Warfare is the perfect game for any fan of armored vehicles and it's even won the Bloxy Award for best use of tech in 2021. The game is an action-packed eight versus eight armored warfare game featuring armored vehicles throughout history with absolutely mouth-watering detail where I can't even tell if I'm playing Roblox or another game entirely. Available on every platform, there's never a dull moment in this game with its variety variety of vehicles, maps, and game modes, with each tank having its own perks and quirks. From the lumbering, hard-hitting heavy tanks all the way down to the tiny yet speedy armored cars and light tanks. Tank Warfare takes the cake by a long shot with its amazing graphics, gameplay, and variety making even repeat matches an entirely different experience. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and blow some stuff back to the Stone Age! Number 8, Dead Ahead. If you're a bit of a sea fanatic like me, this game is perfect. Dead Ahead is an action-packed naval combat game centered around two factions duking it out on the high seas. With 70 player servers, there's always massive amounts of mayhem no matter what you take out to sea. Whether it's taking the fight to the enemy right up close with a destroyer or raining hellfire from above with planes, Dead Ahead ensures a unique experience every time as you work with your team to defeat your enemies on both the shores and the seas. Personally, my favorite thing to do is to cause chaos in the destroyer by rushing the enemy before they even know what hit them. I also enjoy rushing to get an aircraft onto the island in the game's King of the Hill game mode. King of the Hill is where both factions fight for control over an island in a D-Day-like fight with ships and weapons that are only usable during that game mode. It just makes the game mode stick out and super fun to play. With extensive in-game lore and infinite possibilities, Dead Ahead is a perfect fit for anyone looking for some sweet, sweet naval warfare. Number 9, D-Day. If you've been on my channel for long enough, most of you will already know of this classic. Based on the Allied landings in Normandy in 1944, D-Day has six different capture points that both the Allies and the Axis must fight for in order to achieve dominance. The job of the Allies is to storm the beaches by either naval craft or by parachute to reclaim France and push the Germans all the way back into the city. Now, both teams have their own perks, with the Allies possessing access to paratroopers and vehicles like landing crafts. 
while the Axe has hold an advantage in defense, making for an amazing mix of offensive and defensive gameplay, depending on the situation per server. The reason I love D-Day is how fun and fast paced it is. It's got a nice arcade feel to it that allows me to want to play it for hours. The game also includes many different classes that you can bring into the battlefield, including Mortarman, Engineer, Medic, Infantryman, Sharpshooter, and a new one called Paratrooper. D-Day is a great game for anyone to play, and it even supports mobile players. If you want a fast-paced war game, check out D-Day. Number 10, Fire Team. Looking for a tactical shooter to play with your friends? Want to feel like a cool operator? Fire Team is the perfect choice. Squad up and work together to win playing at different nations. Fire Team has different classes to choose from, ranging from anti tank to the simple rifleman. All working together for the common goal of winning the game and to drive the enemy from the field, capturing and securing points all along the way. With 60 people to a server, the combat is amazing to experience, making Fire Team a strong addition to this list. Well, guys, there's my top 10 list of the best war games on Roll blocks, but here are some of my honorable mentions. First, Fallen Flag. If you're looking for a new bot commander game, this one is great. Second, Strategima, a sweet 8-bit strategy game that allows you and your friends to fight and nuke each other. Third, Battle Sails. If you like old-fashioned naval combat, then this game will be insanely fun for you. Fourth, Poly Battles, an awesome battlefield-like game with guns, tanks, planes, and a lot more. And lastly, Men of War. Another fun Napoleonic game that has testing servers now, but will soon be fully released with siege maps, realistic ship with boarding mechanics, and is working its way on becoming the new trade lands. All of these honorable mentions are absolutely amazing, and I think you should give them all a try. You won't regret it. Well, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video of the top 10 best war games that you and your friends should be playing in 2022. Like always, I hope you found some awesome new games to try out for yourself. If a war game you like didn't make it onto my list, be sure to comment the name of the game down below. I always love to see what cool games you guys are playing. But anyways, guys, top 10 videos like this one take a long time and a lot of effort to make. So if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.